Today on the channel, we got a throwback unboxing as we go all the way back to the Masters of the Universe Classics line for the 3-in-1 Vicron 3-pack. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for a first time video here on the channel as we do a throwback unboxing for the Masters of the Universe Classics line. As of today, we've got the 3-in-1 Comic-Con exclusive, Vicron. But for all your modern day Masters of the Universe needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use the link in the description below or discount code KYLE to save yourself 10% on all in-stock items. And of course, anything over $39 does ship free but we throw it back to the masters of the universe classics line uh one of my favorite lines of all time and i've told my history with this line on the channel many many times over the last couple of years but this is one of those ones that was always an interesting one like i said it was a comic-con exclusive but it is technically a three-in-one pack where my crazy brain you guys know a lot of you guys are just like me i had to have three of these so i already have two in my collection this is the third and final one finally getting around to unboxing this on the channel as i've had this probably for well over a year in my collection just waiting to be unboxed and today it drew the uh, the short straw i guess we'll call it uh but it is a three-in-one figure here and it is very cool and this is based off of uh, the original concept of the he-man toy line back in the day the masters universe i guess as the story goes they brought these three different geared he-man figures uh to the top brass at mattel where they decided who do we want to be he-man who do we want to be our champion and they went from a tank motif a space motif and kind of a barbaric warrior motif and we all know who ended up wanting winning out in the end uh but it was a pretty cool idea here a cool thing a little nice one a perfect con exclusive to the hardcore fan base out there and like i said gotta have three versions of these that's what i'm doing and we'll compare it to all the different ones later on in this very video but of course we're gonna do this video like we do all the other videos on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're gonna see where it goes from there so there is the packaging very interesting long and it's not very tall packaging but it is a very long package and it's got that classic masters universe classics uh packaging here big window box gonna get the skull a uh, gray skull kind of pattern stone pattern in green there throughout looking really good of course masters universe logo right there looks really nice masters universe classics three interchangeable armors vicron the ultimate Eternian champion and these are for adult collectors as you guys know no kids allowed uh you got a little cross sell on the back of some of the heavy hitters over the years from the classics line some good ones celebrating 30 years of he-man at the time currently we're in the 40th year of he-man if you can believe that absolutely wild got the big blurb here we're gonna read this real quick let's see what it says about our old friend vicron real name vicron ah, it's on his license okay we'll we'll, do, we'll uh, agree with that 50 years before Prince Adam was born, Vicron the warrior fought in the gladiatorial arena of Lord Chola, ruler of the Vine Jungle. Learning from each defeated opponent, he became a master of many combat techniques and weapons. As much a champion as a showman, he would often dress in outlandish garb to rouse the crowd and show off his skills. In his final match, he fought against the great Saigor, which we did get as well. Uh, before a cheering crowd, the evil fighting gorilla ripped Vicron's body in half. At long last, defeating the Arena Champion. Well, that took a dark turn, didn't it? Following the match, Saigor claimed not the only the Arena Championship, but ruled the jungle itself, forcing Chola to abdicate his throne. In life, Vicron was the greatest of Chola's gladiatorial warriors, fighting in any environment and any time. But Rip Vicron got ripped in half. Would love to see that. But let me take this offline and get this out of the pack, and we'll be back talking all things Vicron. All right, we got Vicron out of the package. Let's get this out of here. See you later, but let's break this one down. And I guess we'll start with Vicron first, then we'll look at the extra uh, accessories slash uh, extra outfits for this guy here. But we'll start with Vicron first. Uh, first thing is we do got the big old Axe of Doom here. Very, very cool, all in gray. Nice sculpting throughout on here. Almost looks a little bit technologically advanced, if that makes sense, over a 
barbarian, I guess we'd call it. Uh, but it does look like it has kind of some uh, fancy uh, decor inside the sculpt here, but really nice big old battle axe going on there. Then we get down to old Vicron, and we do know these were the three concept arts for uh, that Mattel was thinking about. Which way do we want to go with these He-Man characters uh, into the toy line? And this was one of them. This one is the most like our traditional He-Man that we think of, all the way down to the Eternia loincloth, the fanciest outfit in all of Eternia, of course. But he does got kind of the battle vest harness. Uh, does have a very Conan the Barbarian kind of fur back there which is very cool now all this stuff is removable this hat's removable this chest thing is removable the uh, sh the shin guards are removable so you do pop those off to put on these other outfits for him if you need to uh, but he does got long black hair definitely different than the blonde hair we're uh, accustomed to with our he-man uh, but he does got the jacked up physique all that kind of stuff articulation of course uh, you do got arms that go up and down, a little tight joints, but that's not a bad thing, especially after 10 years in the package. Arms do go all the way around, but it is limited by his fur there. He does got a bicep cut, single jointed elbows, hands back and forth. You do get an ab crunch going on. You get no waist articulation. You do get those big old He-Man type splits. Sure, why not? You do get single jointed knees. You do get a boot cut, and then you do get ankles back and forth, up and down. So not a ton, ton of articulation here, uh, but this is an older figure, of course. This is uh, from way back in the day. Uh, a lot of advances have happened in the last 10 plus years in action figures as we see every day here on the channel. Uh, but a good one, and out of the three, I think they went with the safe bet. I think this was the best bet, and maybe that's just uh, eyes after all these years. If we would have known our He-Man is one of the other guys, maybe we'd say something different. I don't know. But does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? A Mattel stand, of course. Always good to check that. And what do you know? Fits like an absolute glove right there on the stand. Uh, so if you need to, you can always buy the ringside collectible WWE Mattel stands for your Masters Universe Classics figures. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. So there is Vicron Part 1, the more He-Man-like one. Now let's look at this Army Tank version. In the Army Tank version, you get uh, all kinds of stuff. You do get the shin guards here. Nice green with the star. Very G.I. Joe kind of feel here. Uh, so you do get those. You do get the big... I guess those aren't shin guards. They were uh, forearm guards. Getting those mixed up. But these are the boots. Uh, the big heavy-duty tank-like boots there. Uh, once again, you get the green color throughout. You get a crazy head on this guy. Uh, very army tank influenced. Very, very strange. I can see why this one didn't win out. Uh, we do got an army tank head. You got a big vest over the top. And then you do get his black weapon here. He's got another gun. Uh, do got the figure right here ready to go with all the stuff on him. Very, very interesting. And like I said earlier, I can see why this didn't make the cut. Uh, I don't know. This would have been, I think, well, no, it wouldn't be before G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe, of course, being around in the 70s in the bigger scale. So I don't know if they were trying to capture a little of kind of that army magic a little bit uh, with this one. But it's definitely interesting. It's definitely a conversation starter. But for me, I'm pretty glad they didn't go this direction. I just don't think this one was warranted, uh, for me at least. Maybe you guys are different. Sound off in the comments down below. But a very, very interesting kind of an army tank guy is what this ends up being. So very interesting there. Uh, right there. Now we move over to the next one here. We get more of the Space Cadet. And of course, you know, the 70s into the early 80s, a lot of kids like their space toys. They're action figures of space and ships and things. I guess no different really than in this day and age. Uh, what is old is new again. Uh, but this was more of a space type guy uh, is what this ended up being here for this version of Vicron. You get the back jetpack with wings on there, flying through the air, the nice big orange vest, and of course, going back in the 70s, 80s, orange, bright orange was a color, even on vehicles, if you remember back in the day. Uh, so you do get some of that. You do get shin guards. You do get uh, forearm guards as well. You do get a weapon for him as well, just like the other one, all in black, one full black sculpt. Uh, then you get a little crotch piece action, and then you do get a helmet for him. And then I do have him over here as well. And once again, just like the tank one, just feels like something that, yeah, I'm glad they didn't go this way. It'd be interesting if they actually would have went this way, and if we would have had the same thoughts saying, boy, why would they ever have done a barbarian type figure? I'm glad they didn't do that. I don't know if that would have been the case, but uh, it's definitely an interesting one, this space uh, cadet version here. Uh, but between the three, I'm going to have to say that obviously this is the one to go with. This is, and I think uh, maybe we got blinders on. I don't know. But this is the one, and then I would go to the space one, then I'd go to the tank one. Maybe that's me. What would you do? I think most people would probably have him at number one. I guess you'd flip flop between these two. But I think Mattel made the right choice. It seems to have paid off here 40 plus years later. 
Uh, but what say you guys out there? Did you ever pick this one up back in the day? Any thoughts on this one? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. You might as well like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day. And we got a couple more Masters Universe Classics unboxings to get to. Some long game unboxings. We will get to them on the channel eventually. So if you like this kind of content and other He-Man stuff, you'll want to make sure you subscribe to this channel. Don't forget about the Patreon channel as well as you get early access to videos like this. This is one of those ones you get a lot earlier than traditional YouTube. Uh, you get bonus content over there, Q&As on a monthly basis, giveaways, you name it. And best of all, you do support the channel on the build Patreon. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And then don't forget to follow along on social media. Sir Paul 64 is where you're going to find me on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Vicron and the He-Mans that could have been, I am Kyle. And I'll see you guys all real soon.